Hello, in this demonstration, I'm going to sync your multiple locations for your Clover retail outlets to your multiple location Shopify stores. In Clover, if you click your locations dashboard, you'll see our locations listed here. We've got Portland, Seattle, New York, and our main warehouse. If we go to Shopify, we also have our locations listed here. Main warehouse, Portland, New York, and Seattle. Click here to start your free trial anytime. Once you have gotten your free trial, just log in. And you'll notice a message you haven't created any actions yet. The actions are the operations you want eSync to perform. Those include creating products and inventory sync. And you'll need an inventory sync per location. Let's start with creating an action. Click Clover. We have two locations already set up, Portland, Seattle. We don't have New York or our warehouse. Let's just add a different account. Name it New York. Click continue and choose your New York location. We also need to connect our warehouse. Let's add another account. Click next, choose your main warehouse. Now click connect and accept the terms. Now if you click Clover, you'll see Portland, Seattle, New York, and Main Warehouse is set. Click Continue. Now choose your shopping cart. Let's choose Shopify. To connect to Shopify, add account and follow instructions to your right. Give your account a name and your store name. Connecting to multi-location Shopify. Continue. Now we want to send products to Shopify. Click Continue. Give your store name. Portland. You want to create products from one location only. Create an action. Click Clover. Clover Portland. Continue. Shopify. Multi-location, now inventory levels for items. Continue, Clover Portland. Send inventory levels, click Save. Now we can create products from Portland, update inventory from Portland. Let's add action for New York, Seattle, and the warehouse. Clover, Seattle, Shopify, multi-location, and inventory levels only. Give it a name. And do the same for New York and for the warehouse. Clover, New York, Shopify, send inventory levels for New York. Hit save. Now let's do the warehouse. Inventory levels from the warehouse. Now we have our action set up. We can send products from Portland, update inventory from Portland, update inventory from Seattle, New York, and the warehouse. In order to use your actions, you have to configure them first. You gotta let eSync know the criteria for sending products. For creating products, you just need to send a timestamp. We can go back two days, your timestamp is used for us to target those products that have been updated in your database. If you have products that have not been touched or sold in months, that product won't be touched. In this instance, we're only going back two days. Let's also go and configure inventory levels. Do the same, go back two days for Portland. Now we need to find our location ID for our Portland Clover. Go ahead and click the question marks and you'll see examples here. Let's log into Shopify. Let's click our Portland store. And our ID number is actually right here. Click copy. Back to eSync. And hit save. You go back to the dashboard and, and click on your action. You'll see your save settings here. 
Portland Clover, Portland Shopify. Now let's do the same for Seattle. Hit save. Now let's do the same for New York and our warehouse. New York. Hit save. And let's locate the New York ID. And then in 3001. And hit save. Now we just got one more ID. Click configure. Choose a date. Just going back two days. And let's go to our warehouse. Ending in 1785. Check your actions, and if you fail to save them like I just did, you will notice your account was not saved. Hit save, again, for main warehouse. And if you go back, you'll see your saved configuration. Now, let's create a task. Your tasks are used to schedule your actions. You can schedule your actions every five minutes or by the hour. And only add one action per task unless instructed to add more. Great products, Clover, Portland. And another task for our inventory levels. Inventory levels. Save. We can run these right now or finish our tasks. Let's check out our Shopify store. Click products. We have four products here. Let's go ahead and run create products for Portland. We're going back two days. Depending on how many products you have, this may take a few minutes or could take a couple hours. You can always close out eSync at any time and it'll continue running. Hit refresh. And let's look at Shopify now. And you can see there are more products that have been created. Oakley sunglasses, Ray-Ban sunglasses, and you'll see there's zero stock. Let's also run our inventory for Portland. Hit run. Now let's hit refresh. Now we have 76 items in stock. Let's click on uh, Ray-Ban sunglasses. We toggle down, you'll see Portland, Knob Hill has 76. There's no mention of our other locations. Let's go ahead and add those next. The create task, add action. We want to do Seattle inventory sync. Create task, New York. Create task and add our final one for our warehouse. Hit save. So with your pay plans, you can always turn on your schedules at any time, run by the hour interval or by a minute interval. I'm gonna run on demand. Let's run Seattle. run New York and now let's hit refresh and run warehouse so if we log into Shopify again and hit refresh let's see what our stock looks like toggle down you'll see we have stock from Seattle New York and our main warehouse 
if you compare that to your inventory levels for the same product, you'll see they match here. New York 15, Main Warehouse 2018. 2018, New York 15. That's it. It's really that easy with eSync. You can connect your multiple stores within minutes. If you have any questions, please contact us at CosmoCentral.com with a K and start your free trial today. Thank you.